Maybe Hogwarts isn't as fun and magical as it seems. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things that would suck about going to Hogwarts. It's not real, the ceiling. It's just bewitched to look like the night sky. I read about it in Hogwarts. History. That means we're looking at all the frustrating and dangerous things children have to deal with while attending Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in both the novels and the films. All right, Accio list. Number 10, the nonsensical point system. To Mr. Harry Potter, for pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor House 60 points. Let's be honest, no one really cares about the House Cup except for the youngest students. But it must be really discouraging to see the blatant corruption plaguing Hogwarts as an 11 year old. I would have expected more rational behavior on your part, and I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Granger. Five points will be taken from Gryffindor. Teachers can seemingly just give and take an arbitrary amount of points at their leisure, and absolutely nothing is stopping them from showing favoritism towards their own house. <clears throat> Snape. <clears throat> Are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? He's got a point, you know. Five points from Gryffindor. Hermione so much as sneezed in potions class? 50 points from Gryffindor. Draco's hair is nicely combed? 100 points to Slytherin. Not to mention, these points are all utterly worthless if Dumbledore can just up and manipulate the results on his own personal whim. Is this school biased much or what? Assuming that my calculations are correct, I believe that a change of decoration is in order. Number nine, the stupid staircases. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Now, honestly, what is the point of having magical staircases that actively troll the students? In the movies, the staircases literally shift to other locations throughout the school. And the books mention that the stairs lead to different places on different days. There's at least one step that literally traps people if they happen to step on it. How annoying would that be? Imagine being late for a class and having the staircase deposit you on the other side of the castle. Or maybe you just wanted to head back to the dormitory after a long day only to get sucked into the stairs. These people are wizards. Can't they fix this? What's happening? The staircase has changed, remember? Number eight, Moaning Myrtle. Who's Moaning Myrtle? I'm Moaning Myrtle. There's no privacy in Hogwarts, like at all. For one thing, ghosts roam the halls at their leisure and can seemingly pop up anywhere at any time. Wait till you see, it's awful. There you are enjoying a lovely meal in peace when a partially decapitated ghost decides to pop in and show you his gruesome neck hole. And if you think the bathrooms are safe, think again. I was just sitting in the U bend thinking about death. <sighs> Moaning Myrtle can travel between washrooms and quite literally watches people while they're using the bath. And who knows what else. I tried putting it in the water if I were you. Myrtle. Hi, hello Harry. And when she's not spying on you from a distance, she is persistently hitting on you despite your visible discomfort. We do feel bad for her, but honestly, it's no wonder no one likes her. Number seven, there's only one sport. Players take their positions as Madame Hooch steps, steps out onto, onto the field, field to begin, begin the game. game. Most schools pride themselves on their extracurriculars and sports teams. Hogwarts has a uh, Quidditch. We hope you like it because it's literally your only choice. You don't like the sport that doesn't really make sense, has a bizarre point system, can last weeks, and is played in raging storms? Too bad. You don't want to play a sport where you risk having your face caved in by a bludger? Suck it up. What happened? I, uh, I don't really remember. I took a bludger to the head two minutes in. Woke up in hospital a week later. You're bad at flying brooms like Hermione, but desperately want to be involved in the school's only sporting event? Guess you have to watch and cheer from the stands like all the other losers. Surely Hogwarts could conjure up a magical version of football or something. Number six, having to choose between awesome electives. I had a free period this morning, Professor. So I noticed. I would think you would want to fill it with potions. Or is it no longer your ambition to become an aura? Just imagine being Harry Potter. You lived 11 years in the muggle world and suddenly you're transported to this magical land that's quite literally full of fantastical possibilities. No doubt you'd want to learn and do everything the school has to offer. You'd be out of luck though, forced to miss out on all those awesome electives thanks to scheduling conflicts. This is acknowledged in Prisoner of Azkaban when Hermione manipulates time and space itself to attend all her classes because some of them overlap. What a load of rubbish. Where did you come from? <coughs> Me? 
been here all this time. This is often a problem in real life, but then you're only missing out on history or economics. At Hogwarts, we're talking literal magic. When did she come in? Did you see her come in? Number five, owl droppings for breakfast. Oh, Miles here. Whose idea was it to have owl delivery happen during breakfast? Owls deliver parcels to the students in the Great Hall while they're eating their morning meal, which probably means lots of owl poop in their plates of eggs and sausages. Imagine, it's your first morning at Hogwarts, you're basking in all the magic and plentiful food, when an owl swoops by with a deafening screech and craps in your cereal. Ronald Weasley! How dare you steal that car! Welcome to Hogwarts. And don't say they used a spell to deflect owl poop or whatever, because Arthur mentions that the Ministry had to stop using owls due to the mess. If the freaking Ministry of Magic couldn't prevent it, Hogwarts certainly can't. Into departmental memos. We used to use owls. The mess was unbelievable. Number four, incredibly dangerous animals and trees are everywhere. <laughs> we seriously doubt that Hogwarts would pass health and safety inspections because damn. Let's see here. A giant snake that can kill people with a mere glance lives in the basement and slithers through the pipes. Pass your tongue won't save you now, Potter. It only obeys me. A giant spider and his army of minions live in the dangerous forest just off school grounds. Then you're not the monster. No. The monster was born in the castle. A massive three-headed dog was kept in a room protected by a simple lock that a first-year student managed to crack. It was locked, and for good reason. Hagrid regularly introduces the children to dangerous creatures that can maim and kill students. Good luck enjoying a simple walk on the grounds when a tree might splatter you with its gigantic branches. Harry, I'm highly run! It's the grip! <coughs> Number three, adjusting to medieval technology. Going to Hogwarts would require a major lifestyle change, particularly in the modern era. The Wizarding World has very few modern technological conveniences, and attending Hogwarts is like living in a medieval castle for 10 months of the year. My name is Harry Potter. Imagine being a student like Harry or Hermione who live in the modern muggle world and enjoy things like smartphones, TV, and Google. But then you go off to school and you're forced to write with a quill, communicate by owl, and go to the library and actually read books for research. I had you looking in the wrong section. How could I be so stupid? Let me give it two days before the smartphones were smuggled in. Number two, the sorting. And you will be sorted into your houses. The idea behind sorting students is kind of cool, we guess, but honestly, how restricting would that actually be? The students would descend into baseless prejudices and discrimination in no time at all. Forget human complexity, you're sorted based on just a few character traits. Draco Malfoy. Slytherin! What if you're brave, patient, creative, and entirely self-serving? The sorting hat would implode. It also encourages some serious groupthink. And God help you if you're ambitious, shrewd, and a strong leader, because there's a good chance you'll be sorted into Slytherin and viewed by most other students as a budding pure-blood supremacist. If you would, I would like you, please, to lead Miss Parkinson and the rest of Slytherin House from the hall. Exactly where is it I'll be leading them to, Mom? The dungeons would do. When even the school's own faculty shows prejudice towards houses, you know there's a serious problem. I mean, I love the Wizarding World as much as the next person. I am a Ravenclaw, by the way, but you have to admit we kind of have a point with this list. Like, the stupid staircases? Jeez Louise. Okay, anyway, whatever, that's my one. Um, so there's something actually that changes even more than those stupid staircases, and that's what's at our number one spot. So let's get through some honorable mentions, and then we'll find out what it is. The pity they let the old punishments die. It was a time detention would find you hanging by your thumbs in the dungeons. God, I'll miss the screaming. Nonsense. We'll sort you out. Any friend of Harry's is a friend of mine. Get your books out. Uh, sorry, sir. I haven't actually got my book yet. Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? Believe me, Professor. I've been asking myself the same question for six years. Before 
we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, constantly changing and terrible teachers. Let me introduce you to your new defense against the dark arts teacher. Me. Gilderoy Lockhart. You shouldn't grow to love the professors at Hogwarts because who knows where they'll be next year. The biggest example of this is easily the defense against the dark arts classes. Excuse me, sir. Where's Professor Lupin? That's not really your concern, is it, Potter? As you all know, Harry had six different DADA professors during his time at Hogwarts. I'm here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye. The end. Any questions? Filling that position were several employees who scared or even actively harmed the students. Which brings up Hogwarts' terrible screening and hiring practices. They hire a cowardly fraud, a Death Eater using basic polyjuice potion, a sadistic tyrant, and oh yeah, a man with the Dark Lord on his head. Maybe it's not such a great school after all. Unicorn blood can sustain me, but it cannot give me the body of my own. Did you ever want to attend Hogwarts? Do you still? Let us know in the comments, or come talk to me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton. Also, be sure to like and subscribe, and please watch this other video.